guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to refresh your curls. I get so many questions, but refreshing is literally just adding moisture, adding definition to your washing though to make it last even longer. So if you want to see how to do that, then keep watching. This is what I'm starting off with. This is what my hair looks like. Now let me just take it out. Honestly, sometimes I don't need to do this, but when my hair looks like this, I need to. Now, to you guys, I know it probably doesn't look that bad because, like, the lighting and it just makes it look better. But, like, if you take a close look, my curls aren't really curls. There's no definition. My hair just feels kind of crunchy. And it's because of the product I used yesterday. I hadn't used it in a while. And I wanted to film a video with it, but I can't because this is how my hair turned out. You guys won't be knowing what that is yet. <laughs> I like to do this when my hair looks like this but i need to wear it down if i was still in school i would be going to school this is what i would do from the morning and i use two products and i've narrowed it down to these two they are from the same brand but this is not sponsored i genuinely use these products because it just works for me i use my miss jessie's leave-in condition and my miss jessie's coily custard this is moisturizing and this gives me hold and it dries really fast and my hair likes it so this works together and i just use these together because i like both of these products and i really mix well first things first of course i'm gonna need some water so i'm just going to dampen my hair i don't section my hair when i do this because this is just like a quick five seven minute thing to do like in the morning if you need to go somewhere for school or work this is what i do so i'm just going to dampen my hair Now my hair is just damp. You can see it's not soaking wet, but it is damp enough to where you can tell that my hair is wet. And now it's time to apply the first product. So taking the Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condition, if you've never used this product before, it has a medium slash like light consistency. It does help to define your curls, which is another great plus for this. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll take about this much and I might add more, I might not. It really just depends on what my hair needs. Then I'm going to take some water and I'm going to spray my hand with water. This helps to dilute it so I don't have to put it in my spray bottle because I always either put too much water, not enough water, too much product, not enough product, and then it's kind of just stuck in there and I don't want to waste product. So this is basically putting a leave-in conditioner in my spray bottle without wasting product. And it's like kind of thick, so this just helps to thin it out and to make the application process easier so I don't have to completely drench my hair with water. So I just spray it with water and it becomes a much thinner consistency and then when it gets thin enough to where you feel like it is not too much for your hair to be applied to when it's just damp, you apply it. The most important thing is to not break your hair and separate your curls, how they're clumped. It is just to like apply it and just smooth the product. So I'm just touching my hair and kind of like smoothing the product and then rubbing my hands together. And I'm just going to do that throughout my whole head. I'm just smoothing this product everywhere really want to get the back of your head as well and just smooth this product everywhere and you just want to smooth and scrunch now it may seem like it's creating frizz or it's not working but i promise you just smooth and scrunch like i said i'm gonna take some more because my hair can never have too much of this product and my hair is dry it needs all the moisture it can get and i'm just gonna spray my hand with water and i'm gonna focus this in the back you can see i'm just grabbing my hair and smoothing and then i'm just focusing on on the back section doing the exact same thing and then once you apply enough of that product and you feel like it's all over you want to just smooth it through your hair don't rake just smooth and do it everywhere I also don't section while I do this and I don't section because for me it takes away all the volume I've created and it will take so much longer to dry. So just doing that works and you have to find what works for you. Next I'm going to take a little more water because my hair did dry just a little bit. Now time for the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard. This is an amazing product, but I can compare this to the Biocare Labs Coily Custard. That's basically like the exact same thing, except this one has more of like the crunch. So if you don't like crunch, I recommend using something like the Biocare Lab Coily Custard. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with this much. You see, it's not even a lot at all because a little bit goes a very, very long way. And I'm gonna take my spray bottle again, spray my hands with some water, and then it just turns into like a very light product. It doesn't feel as thick, and I'm just going to smooth over my hair like I did with the leave-in condition. I'm doing the exact same thing to this side of my hair. And then 
I'm just smoothing it all over. Then the next almost most important step is to shake my head. Now I'm not going to be crazy and not like do the whip my hair back and forth type of thing. I'm just going to go like this and shake my hair just so I can encourage the curls to start to form without making my hair super frizzy. Shake my roots a little bit. And then I'm just going to scrunch my ends so they don't get stringy because that's what happened. The last wash and go that failed. And then this is it. These are what my curls are looking like. Just refreshed, not drying at all. And they kind of look crazy, but just let your hair curl up and just trust the process and you will be impressed. So I'm going to let my hair air dry. That's another big thing. I don't like diffusing when I refresh. I'm going to let my hair air dry and you will start to feel that cast form and that is a good thing. I'll be back when my hair is all dry. So these are how my curls look. If I bring them to the front, you guys can see that they're very bouncy i have the hold i do have some frizz up top that's because i've been touching my hair because i always do that i always tell people not to do it but i do it sorry i know and my hair will get bigger throughout the rest of the week so that is how i refresh my curls a little bit of leave-in conditioner add moisture a custard to add some hold and definition that will last me and my hair will just get bigger and fuller and more voluminous throughout the week and yeah if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you like this video or if you're trying to implement a routine and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you guys next time bye